Hello. You don't seem... crazy. Well, thank you, my dear. Who are you, then? Oh, just an old prisoner enjoying his retirement. What does that even mean? Do you really want to know? Yes. I was sent here in 1981 by the Turkish government as a worker, as they call it. I think it was the very same year they sold this island to Brother Number One. I was a journalist back then. After the 1980 military coup, the newspaper I was working for forced the close, like all the others. One morning they, they showed up and took me and all my colleagues to a truck. The next day, I was on a ship sailing for this island. I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye to my daughter and wife. That's horrible. What happened then? I was taken to the labor camp on the island, along with a couple of other political prisoners. They made us work in the mine down there seven days a week for years. We used outdated equipment, and there were no safety measures, of course. Then in the mid-80s, an earthquake put an end to the mining activities. That's when Brother Number 2 came up with some new ways to finance the community. You mean smuggling of antiquities? And yes, drug trafficking. Since then... Many other workers from the mainland were sent here. Unbelievable. How come no one knows about this? Some people know, but they're either scared or involved or dead. The brothers are really good at hiding this place from unwanted eyes. What are you doing here? Don't you see? I'm herding sheep. Okay, but why is there no guard watching over you? I earned my slice of freedom. Can't do the heavy lifting anymore. Brother number two was kind to me. He let me watch over the herd and enjoy the last days of my life. Kind? He kept you as a prisoner for 40 years. <laughs> What's wrong with those freaks? This time it wasn't the brother's fault. Someone poisoned the food with a nasty drug. I make my own meals. That's why I was spared. Anyway, people went crazy quickly. Guards were overrun by the prisoners who had forced their way through the main gate of the labor camp. They had to work overtime to get them back. I'm pretty sure there are still plenty roaming around the island. <laughs> Ibrahim, you say? Hmm. Yes, I know an Ibrahim. A slippery man. There's something unsettling about him. I have learned to stay away from people like him. The other day they moved him to the prison at the military post. Don't know why. What do you know about the brothers? I know enough. What do you want to know? Who's brother number one? I've only heard rumors. At the end of the 70s, he founded his own political party, loosely based on socialism. That's when he met brother number two. Together, they managed to attract support by ways of propaganda and cult personality, rather than by presenting a solid political reform. After the 1980 coup, he reached an agreement with the new government that allowed him to establish his own community of followers on this island in exchange for special favors. I've never met him. Apparently, he never leaves the village at the center of the island. The community is his life and his family. He left all the dirty work for brother number two. Who's brother number two? He's the right arm of brother number one. The two of them met in the late 70s, and since then, they strove to build an independent community. He runs the labor camp and the militia on the island, 
and I had the opportunity to talk to him quite often in the last 40 years. He's a rational, cynical, and a very pragmatic man. Without his efforts, the community wouldn't be able to sustain itself. Who's brother number three? Oh, that man is a beast. He's the boogeyman here. Everything I know about him sounds like a myth. He showed up on the island out of nowhere sometime in the 90s. He's not Turkish. If the rumors are true, he came to the island specifically to take part in something they call the trials, and he passed them. The first and possibly only person who made it. Anyway, he was appointed as brother number three then. He's a psycho. If you see him, you better pray he doesn't come for you. Brother number two hates him. He's always been a nuisance to him, but he can't do much about it. He has brother number one's blessing. I want to ask you another thing. I need help. Who doesn't? I'm sorry, girl. Staying out of trouble is what kept me alive for almost 40 years now. I better go. I won't stop you. 